Okay, I am gonna start over in men's today. Oh, here's a pair of bean boots. Those actually don't look too bad, so I think I'll put those in the cart. A pair of LL Bean the bean boots. Those those always those always sell pretty well, especially with it being colder. So we'll just kind of wander through here. I'm hoping that we'll get to see some, oh, those are nice. These are Eddie Bowers. Um, I'm hoping that we get to see some carts today. I feel like I've been missing out on carts lately. This. Proxy, that's interesting. It's kind of neat. We'll toss that in. And this is, says Australia on it, but it's, oh, it's a passport. So it's like a passport holder, okay. It's got some stuff on the front though. I'm not so sure that's gonna come out, but I think what we'll do is, we'll come over here and we'll start with purses. It is a little crowded in here right now. This is not the usual time that I come in. So we'll just kind of look and see if we see anything that catches our eye today. So far, not seeing anything. Ooh, that didn't feel that doesn't feel very good and these have these have been here for a while so this is a so I know this one's a coach or no actually Duneenberg and it's filthy and so is that one and I know I've seen those before I can see there's like a Donna Karen behind it but um, nothing nothing spectacular I think bags are looking a little scarce. I did stop by the, the million dollar rack and it, there was nothing very good in there. So it looks like somebody put some stuff over here, but um, I'm not thinking those are great. And then I am going to stop. I will stop at the belts like I told you. So I'm going to see what the belts look like. That one's got some damage on it. Huh. Well, I think they look like they need to do some stocking. So I'm hoping they'll bring some carts out while we're here. Because it kind of looks like they need to, so. And I know my husband's here too, so you might see some some different things get in my cart because when when he comes, he he has a different eye than I do. Oh, these are cute, but I think these are actually little little kids. Yeah, those are like a size five. So those are those are really itty bitty bitty teeny teenies. Oh, these Cole Hans are really pretty though. These are tiny too. I wouldn't be surprised if these were the same person that dropped these off because these look really yeah see these are a five also look at how pretty those are though oh you know what these are brand new these haven't even been worn you know what i might put those in the cart they really are a beautiful pair of just pair of shoes and i think i see a pair of dance goes down here too let's see if they marked these up because that looks like a pair of dance goes oh they are you know what they're not bad at all these are not bad at all, and they did not mark them up. So these are gonna go in our cart. Now, I'm not sure what these are. These are eye comfort. Now, I'm not familiar with this. I'm, I, I, I like it, but I don't necessarily like the patent leather um, 
that they put on top of that. So, oh, and these are Cole Hans. These are actually the original Grands, but look how damaged they are on the inside. Here's another pair of little tiny Hotters. Oh, those are really cute too. These are a little bit, oh, these are a 5 too. Gosh, you know, it makes me feel like they dropped, somebody dropped off a bunch of shoes. And Okay, here, so these are Fit Flops. I'll take those. These are Eileen Fishers. All of these look brand new and they're all, they're all in tiny little sizes. Huh, well, I'm a little confused by this. So this pair of Eileen Fishers right here is a size five. This little pair of Fit Flops is probably going to be a size 5 too. That's kind of interesting that they're all so small. Okay, so we'll keep on going around here. Yeah, that's really kind of odd for to keep finding all these. Somebody, I have a feeling somebody must uh, have dropped off a bunch of their shoes, have really small feet and dropped off shoes because just for me to keep finding all these high quality shoes in such a small size. Okay, so we actually got some really, really nice shoes. Um, I, I know some of them might take a little bit longer to sell just because of, just because they're so small. But you know, if they're, if they're quality, they're quality. So there is something to be said for that. Okay. What are those right there? Hmm. Oh, they pulled the insoles out of those. Okay. One of these days I'm gonna have to ask what they're, what, why they pull insoles out of their shoes. Like what is the, is it a condition thing or, cause I'm really not sure. Life strides and are these oh those are Sperry's. I thought maybe they were Ralph Lauren aerosols. I'm not sure what those are. Life strides. Bear traps. Sometimes they get large quantities of bear traps, so I do have a feeling that um, the bear trap maybe the store drops them off um who knows the floor so we will keep looking down this aisle oh okay what are these oh those are clarks you know what they are very cute what are these oh those are banana republic i kind of do like the clarks they're kind of really cute like a normal size too Oh, there's a little rip in the back of that one. Okay, so it was a little rip in the back of that one, so it's gonna have to go back. Well, that's a bummer. What are these? Um, um, <laughs> down this way as I said it is more crowded today so it's harder to it's harder to you know see things with a lot of people in here those are luckies 
Kelly and Katie's. Okay. I didn't grab, I didn't grab all that much. Oh, these are cute, They're, but I think those are like slippers and the, you can see the back end, the back ends are wearing off on those. Those were fit flops, which I, I usually, I usually really like fit flops, but those were kind of uh, worn out. So we're going to keep on going. Let's see, what are those? Those are nice. These are actually um, Skechers, I think. Oh, those are cute. These are really soft, too. Um, I don't know if I, if I trust that one. What is it? A seven. Okay, it's a seven. Eh, not bad, but I think I'm going to pass on those. All right, so... Come over here. I just want to do a quick look through because I kind of didn't, you know, do much when I came over here earlier. So I'm gonna walk around and see what I can find. Sometimes you just have to move stuff out of the way first. There's no rhyme or reason, you know, they just they toss it in, so. That's neat. What is this? Okay, so this I like. I've done this before, the Hannah hats. This one's actually adjustable. Um, it's That's really nice. And this should be um, made in Ireland. So I'm expecting it to be wool. You know, this is pretty nice. So I'm gonna get the Hannah hat one. I, I, like, the, I like the different patterns on that. And we can clearly see what size it is, so I don't have to guess. Oops, I am dropping stuff, but don't worry. I will, I will pick up whatever I drop. Well, this is kind of nice. What is this right here? Okay, this is Delcy. I don't know, what is this? It might be a camera bag. I'm gonna put it in the cart because it is brand new with the tags still. So, you know, obviously brand new with the tags is probably something worth looking at. Okay, I think I'm done over here. I wasn't, um, I didn't, I wasn't all that thrilled over there. I hope they put some, car I hope they put some carts out. Oh, we got a Minecraft backpack. Um, all right. I think we'll head to the back. Let's head to the back and see what we can find. It is crowded in here, and I apologize. So I'm going to do my best to get back there. find out what's going on all right oh carts then maybe we'll get to look at the carts okay so that looks like toys um, can't say toys I might stop and look on the way back when it's not so crowded back there. Oh! <laughs> Let's go back over here in just a minute. So that looks like... Uh, so that looks like a Bulacante. It could be Murano. It might be, it might be Fenton too. It is polished on the bottom. Um, but I don't think that I want to, to, oh, you know what, the handle's broken on the side. Now I can see it. Oh, and look, Carl's handing me a little mug right here. Oh, Star Wars, very nice. 
I do, I do like me Star, some Star Wars. But I do tend to buy, always buy Nightmare Before Christmas. I always, you know, will buy, especially vintage Star Wars. I always will buy that. There wasn't much in that cart. That cart wasn't very interesting, but we do have some more carts over here. So we'll come and we'll look these, look these over. We'll see. Yeah, I don't like to count pieces on that. Carl will sometimes though. He will sometimes grab like stuff like that and, and he'll he'll count the pieces, but um, that's not my favorite thing to do. But um, he's real good about that, so. It looks like a bunch of Christmas stuff in there. Let's see what we'll find over here. It's good too, because if he goes through, if I can send him through the line, then um, he'll get a, a, he can get a stamp and then I can get a separate stamp and that will go towards the 20% um, the off. So that's always nice when that happens. We'll come this way. I'm not really seeing anything down there. I think I take it for granted that usually when I'm shopping, it's, it's, um, oh, I do like these pumpkins. <sighs> that one's got some damage on the front. That one has some damage on it too, but I do like those type of things. I don't really want to have to store stuff for a while, but you know, if I find really good stuff, I do, I will put it in a tub in the back and I'll mark it. And then later, um, when I need stuff, then I'll just go and start grabbing it. I'm still buying Christmas stuff and Christmas is almost here. So obviously that will just go in. Oh, it's 50% off Christmas. So I did just see that little sign right there. So anything I find this Christmas will we'll probably go and sit in the sit in the um, storage tub until uh, next year. I don't know if you guys have heard that story about that girl in in Virginia that actually found a vase, and it's not far from me. She found a vase and it ended up being worth a hundred thousand dollars. So there's always hope for finding something great. So I'm just kind of eyeballing, seeing if there's any vintage ornaments or crafting kits or anything like that in here. This stuff kind of looks like it's been picked over pretty good. I would definitely say that there's not gonna be too much, too much that I have to have. So I think I'm gonna head back up to the, the front of the store where it's a, a little bit quieter. And I'll figure out what I'm gonna get. Oh, so nobody's at the toys right now. I guess we could make a little stop here and See if there's anything in the toys we want to have to look at here. Oh, it's Ikea. This guy's, this guy's Ikea. Is this one? Of, okay. Got some interesting things in here. Nothing great though. I think we're going to just head back up here. Let's just head back up here. I'm going to do a little cut over. Like I said, it's crowded in here today. It's it's definitely difficult to move around back there. Oh, 
those are cute, but mm. I like I do like my my men's dress shoes, but I I kind of I stick to certain brands. Well, I just don't I didn't really put much in my in my cart today. It's it's feeling kind of light over there. Make sure I didn't miss anything down there. Oh, look at this. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Ah, oh, I love it. All right. I've seen that one before. Let me see what else is over here. Nope. Those are cute. Oh no. No, no, no. no Honey, no, you know, I, I am not worried if you are reaching around me because I know that you and I are not looking at the same stuff. No, so. that's for sure, but they're too small. Okay. <laughs> nope, I am not worried about you. What do those gadgets tell? That you can look them up with those things? No. Like the people do books or no? No, no, no. This is for my uh, YouTube channel. This is, oh, uh, it's, a, it's a GoPro. It, it records, um, oh, it, it just it just records my shopping adventures. Oh, no, no, no. I thought there was a gadget like there is for books. You know, people, <laughs> they have these machines that can tell them. Yeah, no, no, no. Just just purely for, for my, my channel. Those are cute. I don't know what these are gonna be. Oh, they are Justin's. Um, these are pretty big, but I don't know if I like those that much, but we'll see. Well, this was kind of nice, getting to be the first person through this cart right here. See, I had a feeling if I waited long enough, he would wheel it out. I did. Bum, 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 bum. Well. Okay. Let's look over here. Oh, that's cute. I like the little... I like the little things on there. Those might be good. I'll have to look at those too. That's a little Vera Bradley. Oh, these, so, so somebody put these in the thing and they still have the Marshall's price tag on it, but they, they, they're kind of dirty, like they were left out somewhere. I don't think I'm gonna grab those, but it was... Okay, who makes this? Okay. Well, that was, I mean, it was nice to have a card out, but I think, now see, I've seen this purse before, and it's really dirty on the inside, and it's missing the buckle chain on the outside. That's what this is for right there. So I am gonna leave it here. I know my husband will probably walk by and grab it, thinking, you didn't see that? Well, I did. <laughs> That's. That's why I'm gonna leave it there. So, um, 
kind of decide if I think these Justin boots, I, I don't think these are in great shape, honestly, and I think I'm just gonna put them back. The only reason I'm kind of stopping with them is because I can tell they're a big size. They're a 13D, yeah. So that's kind of the only reason I'm, I'm stopping. I will, I will look though and check on those, but I'm not so sure um, they're gonna go home with me. I'm just doing another look over here and see if they put anything else out. These Ann Klein's are pretty. I don't know about these. I did clean out my closet and, and um, moved some of my shoes, moved some of my shoes out to and get myself a little organized in there. So it does look a lot nicer. When I get to the point I can't see what's in my closet and I'm looking for a pair of shoes and I know it's, it's time to kind of get in there and clean it up a little. Those are okay. They don't, they don't feel great, but they're okay. I feel like I, I grabbed what I grabbed, but you know what though? I've noticed when I come here in the afternoons, they will bring out more carts. So I would not be surprised if he runs out another cart within the next couple of minutes, because that's kind of what's been going on. So it might make sense for me to wait a little while to see if he if he does so I guess I could kind of go and do my my look throughs right now um, I know I know I'm gonna take these um, these usually do very well for me um, these that are, are Ugg slippers um, so there is a few things that I need to look up there's a few things that I I, I don't but there are a few things that I need to go ahead and check on so I am going to turn you guys off I will come back in a little while and then we'll go over and you can see what I got. Hi everybody. I want to do a quick recap of the things that I got. Um, I didn't get a huge amount of stuff, but I actually got some really nice quality items. Um, I did get a, a Disney Parks uh, Star Wars coffee mug. I got a really nice pair of Cole Hans uh, driving loafers, a pair of Eileen Fishers, Danskos, um, these are Ugg, uh, sorry, Coolabura uh, slippers, um, really, really nice. Uh, I did get a pair of Bean Boots, LL Bean Boots. I did uh, get one of these hats, this is a Hannah hat. It's, it's obviously a, a wool um, and it's got like some herringbone and some patterns in it. I also got a Delcy um, camera case, which is brand new with the tags on it. Um, you know, this was a really nice final. I spent $4 on that. So all in all for everything, I spent $52. Um, you know, not a huge amount of stuff, but, um, a few of these items will, some of these items will actually sell pretty quickly if I price them right. So all in all, pretty good, pretty good little haul. Um, once again, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you haven't, please like and subscribe. It really would help me. And as usual, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.